he's really beautiful. Hope he's friendly. Don't think I'll take a chance, though. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's good to have you here. All of these wonderful ingredients are strictly built upon this buffalo tallow. This recipe is filled with fantastic herbs. Arnica, chamomile, wild lettuce. Uh, I'm using raw shea butter, some pine resin, just to make this a luxurious and hopefully healing balm. And one that your body will easily accept because the tallow is very similar to our own skin and the body accepts it. I just loved making this. What I've done here is I've heated up my infused oils and I'm pouring those over this tallow. I want to melt it slowly. I'm treating it with the utmost respect. I could, of course, stick it in the microwave or a double boiler, but I wanted to just do a contact uh, melt here, just using the warmth of those oils to melt these more important uh, oils and, of course, the shea butter. And now over there on the side, I have a little bit of lanolin. And again, that is a local organic lanolin that comes from sheep right here in my area. And what a joy this was, working with these local natural ingredients is just a joy for me. And I really hope that you take as much from this as I do. Now, there are a lot of people, actually, when you go on Etsy, selling buffalo salves, and for some really high prices, I'm not sure where that comes from. Now, for me, I got this tallow for free, but it's kind of as a part of uh, just a neighborly thing. I'm sure if I went back to him again, we'd have to set up some kind of pricing, right? But as such, I am going to put this in my store, but it will be a half the price of what anybody else is offering it because there's just no need for me to gouge you for this. Now, if I ever have to start buying this, depending on the cost of it, yeah, I might have to increase the price a little bit. But this is an initial offering, and I wanted it to be reasonable. And this is in my Etsy shop now, so take a look, see if it's something that you are interested in. Now, I'm not going to make a lot of claims about the medicinal qualities of this, but what I can tell you is that I was very strategic in the ingredients that I added, both in the medicinal items, or excuse me, the botanical items, as well as the essential oils, and as well as this beeswax. This is, you can use other types of wax in your salves. Why do I use beeswax? Well, because it's better for me. And it, it, it is more emollient and more humectant. Other waxes don't have that same humectant quality, which means attracting moisture and maintaining moisture in the skin. So beeswax is very beneficial that way. And I will show you a boo-boo. <laughs> right here, that red light you see is me checking the temperature before I add in my essential oils and my vitamin E because you always want to maintain the right temperature to avoid flashpoint of your essential oils. Flashpoint doesn't just mean flammable. It means where your essential oils break down. Too high a temperature and you destroy all the beneficial qualities. Now, I should have used that bigger uh, pitcher that Kenya sent me, but no. I thought I would try this one again, and of course, look at the mess I made. 
So I had to come up with an alternate, and I did. One of these long spout uh, pours, I just poured it into that so that I could fill these. But I hope you enjoyed this. I really had a lot of fun making it. It's not hard. There was no real challenge to then except for patience. Patience is a true virtue when you're putting together something like this. You must treat the ingredients with respect. And I know that sounds a little silly, but it's the truth. Uh, you cannot overheat your botanicals. You destroy the constituents of them. You can overheat your essential oils. You destroy your essential oils with the tallow and shea butter and things like that. Shea butter, here's a prime example. If you melt it too quickly or at too high a temperature, it can become grainy and it separates and it no longer has those great beneficial properties on your skin. So there's a reason behind each step that I took here and that you should of course take. I'm not telling you how to do it, but I'm just offering you some suggestions I hope you find helpful. I had a lot of fun making these labels, <laughs> the little buffalo heads, and I hope you like them too. Let me know your thoughts on any of this, because I do this not just for myself, but for you. I'm not getting rich off these things. I have fun doing it. I really do. The communications from you all are worth a fortune to me. Being able to read your messages, those people that find these things helpful, the people that buy these things and find them useful or beneficial, it makes me feel wonderful. It really does. So do it. I wouldn't if it didn't create joy for either you or for me. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps the channel if you can just do that. Leave a comment and hit the bell so you know when I've released new videos. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.